Hey friends, how are ya? Welcome to hell, otherwise known as shitty Portland Hall, here in the shitty of Portland. Um, awful things are happening here today. Uh, the city council is attempting to do an end run around the people and approve G4S as disgusting, vicious mercenaries occupying the people's building. So that is terrifying, right, that, that that could happen. But that's what they're doing. First, it was an emergency ordinance. And then from that emergency ordinance, oh, look, this is pretty cool. Oh, they locked me out of the office. That's pretty funny. That, they locked me out of the office. That's pretty cute. Hey, look, the picture hole is still there because they like pedophiles so much. Isn't that hilarious? Look at these kids. These guys want $2 million a year to protect pedophiles. Look at that. They love that shit. Let's not, get tick, let's not get kicked out before the council votes. I don't know why they locked the door, but that's pretty silly. I'll go to the auditor's office and ask them why they locked the door. I'm curious. So does a $40 theft get you barred from City Hall for the rest of your life? I'd like to know. Nobody has notified me of that. Oh, hell, I won't ask now. I want to go down and watch the thing. Hey, Trayvon, is there a reason the door is locked, or is it just specially for me? Dude, I'm still a citizen. Even if I did a $40 theft, I'm sure you've done worse. I've done worse, too. Just relax. Everybody's fine. Except for Neil Goldschmidt. He's a child rapist. He's not fine. All right, let's go in and see what these mercenary pigs are going to try and do today. Love this shit. Oh, look, there's people here to witness the debauchery that'll be going on. How sad for them. I'm sure Ted will be... Ted will be horrified because decorum has been breached. Ted will be horrified. Yeah, Charles is laughing too. Ted always, Ted always calls for decorum when people tell the truth and get upset at this bullshit. Oh, look, they're locking this thing. They're extra nervous today. Extra nervous today, and they should be. Absolutely should be, because they're dishonest, corrupt criminals. These people should be in jail. Ted Wheeler covers up murder, and this type of guy protects Ted Wheeler while he covers up the murder of your family and friends. That's what these guys do for a living, and in fact, they're going to get $2 million today to do it. $2 million you're getting. How much of that you get? 10%? 5%? Oh, you're a pig. I've seen you before. Hey, how are you doing? Gonna violate some civil rights today? Get some. What part of the $2 million are you gonna get, hon? I heard you tell an activist to punch you in the face. Why do you bait activists? Do you wanna punch me in the face? Do you wanna tell me to punch you in the face? Cause that's what you've done before. I have film of it. Oh, look at this, this, look at this erudite gentleman. He's coming in. I wonder if he's like a VIP for G4S scumbag fucks that, uh, that, uh, children in prison camps and kill people in Israel. I bet he is. Oh, they kept the hole up there. I went, I just went and checked. They locked me out of the office. The hole is still there in memorial to a child rapist. That's how much Ted Wheeler loves. They protect, they lock the doors from me because they want to protect the child rapist shrine. Their shrine. Yeah. I'm sorry. I burned it, man. They could have put it right back up there. That would have been great. That would have been great. Can you believe that people do this for a living? Lock you out of your city hall? Like for a living they do this shit. This guy, this lady, this guy, these guys are criminals. These guys are criminal mercenaries that come to keep us out of city hall. And today we're voting on whether they get $2 million per year for the next five years. That's $10 million to lock you out of city hall. I don't know how much the moat's gonna cost, but it must be fucking expensive. Ted Wheeler is terrified of the people. The city council is terrified of the people. They should all resign because they don't want to see us. And that's fine. I love them all. They can go live in their happy homes and be happy and safe and peaceful. Don't serve the people if you don't like the people. If you're so afraid of the people, it costs $2 million a year to keep you fucking away from the people. Please do us a favor and resign for your own mental health. Please. We'll get some great people. Hey, Philip Wolf's over here. Philip Wolf. 
is probably going to run for city council. He is one of three deaf candidates that ran in the United States. Philip Wolf, say hi. Wave to the people. Philip Wolf is a wonderful guy. He's running for city council. He could replace these people. He's not afraid. Lightning. Lightning's not afraid of the people. Joe Walsh isn't afraid of the people. I'm not afraid of the people. You know who the killers are? These guys. These guys probably killed somebody in the military. That's why they hired him. These guys. That's why they hire these people. So what you're seeing here is absolutely a little microcosm of America. What's happening here is a police state. They are attempting, attempting futilely to lock us in the building with these goons. Now what these guys do in Israel is they teach people to abuse and kill children. And what they do here in City Hall for Ted Wheeler is they protect pedophiles. They've still locked down Ted Wheeler's office with a picture of a pedophile I took down, um, gosh, what was it, six, seven weeks ago. Pretty shocking, isn't it? One would think, one would think that since Ted Wheeler was the treasurer of the state of Oregon when they took Neil Goldschmidt out of the Capitol in disgrace, because he is a disgrace, he's one of the worst humans ever to be in City Hall. And not only is he one of the worst humans, but other people knew he was raping the child of one of his staffers while he was doing it. His driver, who he appointed as sheriff later, or who became appointed as sheriff later, he became the governor. This man had full approval to rape a child. Okay, and that's what Ted Wheeler's protecting. That's what they want to put me in jail for, a $40 photograph of a child. But this isn't about me. This is about G4S today. And this is about G4S locking you out of the building that is yours. This is your building. This is not their building. This is your building. This is our building. Pigs don't get to lock us out of our building. And yes, they're pigs. And you know what sucks is that we can't be civil anymore because they are the most uncivil people you will ever meet. They hire goons, goons to physically manhandle us and haul, haul us out of City Hall. Goons that, that carry weapons that, that have been uh, terrorists, that have been crooked police officers. Dorothy Elmore, Dorothy Elmore. Oh, there's one of the guys. Hey, Dorothy Elmore, who runs security here for G4S and City Hall is a disgraced cop who threatened to murder her husband, Vince Elmore. He works in the building too. I guess he's not afraid she's gonna murder him or maybe G4S protects her too. Wouldn't that be funny? Hey, do you guys protect Dorothy Elmore from getting, from murdering, well, protect Vince Elmore from Dor Dorothy Elmore murdering him while he's in the building? I bet they do. I bet they do, because Vince is still alive. She slashed his tires though. She slashed his tires though. She's a murderer. She's a homicidal maniac and an ex-police chief, a professional liar, and she slashed his tires, but she has her guns to keep her safe, or to keep, I'm sorry, Vince Elmore safe from her, or maybe her safe from herself. Hi, Dorothy. Is that Dorothy Elmore? No, that's Dorothy Elmore in there. Sorry? Yeah, so, no, they won't let us because they're preparing for Armageddon. They're preparing for a $10 million deal, and who's protecting us? Who's protecting uh, this, these shitty counselors? from the people while they vote for $10 million, the guy's getting $10 million. How funny is that? No conflict of interest there, right? Hire mercenary goons that kill people around the world. This is not an American company. This is a well-known company of terrorists. Hire these guys while you vote to give them $10 million over five years against all public testimony. I didn't hear anybody testify in favor of these goons getting $2 million a year. Two million dollars a year to keep the people away from people that we voted for. These are not, the, this is not the White House. Uh, Ted Wheeler's not that important. Chloe Daly, Udaly isn't that important. Joanne Hardesty isn't that important. Nick Fish isn't that important. Uh, who's the other one? And Amanda Fritz. It's easy to forget because they don't do anything except Joe Arden Hardesty has been great lately. Um, Let me ask you this. Who do you think will vote against this G4S contract? Oh, I'm wondering. I'm thinking uh, nobody or Hardesty. Will. Hardesty. Your daily will. Switz will be, Fritz will be the swing vote. I don't know. This. I'm expecting if Ted brought it here that he thinks he's got the votes. Nope, he doesn't. That he thinks he's got the votes. I hope he doesn't he because doesn't. if he does, it's going to be a very, very, very interesting day. Interesting day. Right? I'm here to see how interesting a day it is with these hired goons that are here to try and keep the people out of, of City Hall. And she's heading out the back door, so let's see what the...
Who's sitting at the back door? Fritz is, after this term. Oh, Amanda? Shit, man, if I was Amanda, I'd run for the hills and retire early. <laughs> Amanda, man, you're a nice lady. Run, run, run. Chloe, you should run, too. You're probably a nice lady, and obviously you hate your job. Uh, Nick, you're useless. You were a civil rights lawyer once, but obviously not now. Ted, you're a Trumpy tyrant. Joanne Hardesty's been doing a great job lately. You know, I don't agree with anybody all the time, and I'm sure Joanne doesn't agree with everybody all the time either, but I've been really impressed when she's stood up for some very important votes lately against um, the other sycophants that suck up to Ted. I don't even know why you suck up to Ted. Ted doesn't really have that much power. He certainly doesn't have the, no, he he doesn't, certainly doesn't have the support of the people. He He's got $2 million a year of these guys that can lock his door his office door to keep pedophiles in and people out. This lady's like, um, how much, you make six figures doing this shit? You make six figures doing this shit? Should we all go into to the goon squad? Six figures for the goon squad? You must, because cops make 65K to start. Do you get overtime when I show up? That's probably a good deal, right? You're welcome. And the elected officials, by the way, are giving themselves a raise today. Oh, I hope they do yeah. give themselves a raise. That's great. This is going to be a banner day in City Hall, man. You guys can watch this not just on my lovely video because I may run out of battery. I'll probably run out of energy. I'm doing it already. Uh, but uh, you guys can watch on the City of Portland uh, YouTube site. They broadcast live and they also put in uh, subtitles. So it's pretty good viewing. Hey, you can double screen it. You can watch me and you can watch them. And you can watch the uh, police state in action. You can watch a bunch of goons try and squeeze $2 million out of the people of Portland. A bunch of, bunch of mercenary goons try and get $2 million out of the people of Portland. Pretty shameful. Pretty damn shameful. It takes time for them to find their seat, like 30 minutes. Right, well, they're dignitaries. Dignitaries take a long time to sit down. We're very dignified here. We have many dignitaries here to be dignified with. Lock out, Lock out the citizens for the dignitaries. Yes. Well, they don't listen to your I mean, testimony, Joe. Why would no, they fucking I mean, let you in the room? Yeah. Come on, yeah. let's be real. I know, I'm sorry, Joe. I didn't mean to haze you. Dorothy Elmore, have you threatened to kill anybody lately? Dorothy, have you threatened to kill anybody lately? Does your staff protect Vince Elmore from you? Did you slash Vince Elmore's tires more recently than when you did it before? No, it's not a good morning. You are protecting G4S. You are protecting yourself to get $2 million from this shitty council. It's an embarrassment, Dorothy Elmore. You were a disgraced cop. Now you're a disgraced G4S person in our city hall who threatened to kill her husband who works upstairs. God, this is awful. These are the people we trust. This one, too. This one, too. $2 million worth right there. $2 million. Hello, ladies. This is going to be a lovely day. You're in the most corrupt city hall in the United States right here, ladies. What I would like to tell you, and this is very important, is that in this city hall, what we do is we protect killers. We protect killers. I'm sorry, can you grab my coat? It slipped off there. Here, we'll get it. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, shut up, I'm getting my coat. You know I'm getting my coat. Ladies, Ted Wheeler sponsors police murder. Police murder, and when the police murder us, they lie. No, I'm not getting anywhere. Don't touch me. Call the police. No, call the police. I want you to call the police. Thank you. When police murder us, ladies, they cover it up. And Ted Wheeler has covered up murders for his entire term, the murder of Andre Gladden. A blind man was murdered this year and framed. They didn't even know he was blind. That's how stupid the Portland police are. Call 911. You better call 911. At least they don't cost $2 million. You cost $2 million. That's pretty funny. I know, but this is such a great audience. Why would I leave now? So, um, let's talk here. John Alifritz was murdered by a firing squad. Ted, Ted Wheeler's been hiding that from day one. Uh, we have Terrell Johnson. He was murdered while a transit cop fell on his ass. Hey, goon boy. Um, he was murdered while a transit cop fell on his ass and he shot Terrell Johnson because he was falling on his own ass. Christopher Kalanji was murdered because the cop fell on his ass off a ladder. Let's see, who else have we murdered lately? We murdered, it's hard to remember all of them. Oh, my gosh, Patrick Kimmons, his mother, Letha Wisden. Hey, you guys are going to meet the mother of a real police murder victim today. A real police murder victim. Oh, no, I'll watch it online later, hon. It'll be fine. I'll watch it online later. 
So a real police murder victim's mother will be here today. That's really important because when your loved one gets murdered by the state, it's the worst possible of all fates. You never get justice. And goons like this protect a city and lawyers that will make you and your life hell for years. They will destroy your family. It's like a nuclear bomb on your family. The survivors, the families live here in Portland and the Portland police smear them and harass them, show up at their place of work. These are pigs, these are Nazis. A guy named no Mark Kruger, a real life Nazi. A real life Nazi. Hey, Philip, take my coat, please, yes? A real life Nazi uh, works for the Portland Police Bureau. And do you know why still on the force, ladies? Do you know why Mark Kruger, real life Nazi, is still on the force? It's a quiz, anyone? because he sued the city of Portland, that's why. And so none of these people that sit up here on this wall of lies can talk about the fact that we have a real life Nazi in the leadership of the Portland Police Bureau and have for a very long time. Now, just recently, we also paid off a racist named Sergeant uh, Greg, who, and, and, and uh, Sergeant Greg's an interesting cat because he said, if uh, drunk people are white, you should let them go. If they're Hispanic, get them to detox, detox. And if they're black, kill them, shoot them. And so what city council decided to do on that one, this was really interesting. What city council decided to do on that one, ladies, is they, they decided to pay Sergeant Greg, the racist cop, right after Moussa was murdered, who told the other sergeants, this lady cares right here, I know she did. He said, shoot the black people. Shoot the black people. And Portland paid him $100,000, ma'am, $100,000. And he said, shoot the black people. You know why? Because they didn't want to get sued. That's why. So these people are not only terrorists, they're liars. Yeah, clear chambers. That's what we came here for. Thank you very much. No, you don't apologize, you heinous Nazi. You fucking threatened to kill Vince Elmore who works upstairs. You don't apologize for shit. You are a liar. You are a goon. You are protecting the city hall so you can get a $2 million a year contract today for 10 years. Look at this pig. Look at this fucking pig. Jesus Christ. These people are unbelievable. City attorney over here. Look at that spaz. Hey, city attorney, what do you do to uh, fuck over the citizens of Portland? What do you do to fuck over the families of police murder, city attorney? I know what you do. I know what you do. I know what you do. I know what you do to all of them. To every single one of them, you bastard. Under the gracious oversight of uh, Rod Underhill, DA Rod Underhill, Rocket Rod, the son of a bitch that will charge anyone. For the Gladden family, uh, Andre Gladden's father and uncle both live in Portland. And what they did was they pulled his developmentally disabled, not in touch with reality cousin in as the only witness in both the grand jury and the police report. Not 25 of the different uh, family members that were all available and able to have a link with reality. Hold on one second. I'm giving my friend Philip Wolf some uh, personal goods that I don't want to go with me. Okay. Yeah, he's fine. Philip Wolf's a good, safe guy. He's not going to hurt anybody. We don't want to take my nice pipe to uh, jail. Here you go, Philip. Thank you so much, sir. You have a lovely day. Uh, um, give it to give it to Joe. Just give it. To... Give to Joe Walsh. Okay. Thank you very much, Philip. So, what's going on is that Diamond Randolph, I see D. Martin, Diamond Randolph was the only family member taken in by the police and interviewed by the police because they took advantage of two disabled people in one day, in one family. First, they murdered blind man Andre Gladden and framed him. That's probably what this guy would do, too. He follows orders really well. First, they murdered blind man Andre Gladden and framed him. Then they contacted his only disabled, developmentally disabled, profoundly disabled and not in touch with reality relative cousin named Diamond Randolph. And they not only put her in the police report and used her testimony as accusations, but catch this. 
They also put her in front of the grand jury. Not his father who lives in town, not his uncle who lives in town, not any family members, 25 strong, that have been up here in Portland. Diamond Randolph. These pigs have no shame. Ted Wheeler knows it all. These guys right here are protecting a criminal cabal. They should all be in jail. And maybe someday, if we're lucky enough, if we're lucky enough, we will have the freedom to know that people like this will be in jail. And D. Martin's on here. D. Martin knows the truth. D. Martin knows what it's like when the pigs lie about your family and take a disabled family member and use them in the media and in the police and in a grand jury to find the murder of your blind brother to be, quote, and I only quote, justified, end quote. What a joke. What a joke. The cop and the witness, Mr. Pascaya, neither of them could tell a straight story once. It's a joke. They murdered him. Just like they murdered Patrick Kimmons, who had his hands up and no weapon and his back, his back to the police officers when he was shot dead nine times in the back. Now, they say, they tell you that, that he had a gun. Did he have a gun? No. He had one earlier in the night. But that doesn't mean when you had a gun before that you have one now so they can murder you. Same thing with Moose Hayes. Moose Hayes was seen with a toy gun. Did any of the cops that murdered Moose Hayes ever see Moose Hayes with a gun? The answer is no. Never. No cop ever saw Moose Hayes alive with a gun. Not one. Yet he was shot from a prone sniper with an AR-15 from less than 10 feet away, three times. This unarmed child, this unarmed child, on his knees, getting conflicting orders to put his hands up and crawl. That's how they murder your children. That's how they murder your children! How much does it take how much does it take until we've had enough of this? Our children and our brothers and our sisters and our fathers getting murdered. And the pigs lying about it. And pigs like Ted Wheeler. Pigs like Ted Wheeler. Ted Wheeler protecting the police. Protecting the lies. Protecting the cover-ups. Protecting the racist. Paying the racists off. Hiring them. Keeping them. Making this pig over here, this lawyer, making this pig fight families that they've murdered who are victims of their police murder. That's what your city does. And today they're going to vote for $10 million when this place ba opens back up and I'll be in jail and I'll be happy because these pigs need to go. One, two, three little piggies. They turn families against each other. They turn the community against people. They lie. They smear. They post fake photos. They do so many different things you wouldn't even believe it. They stalk people at work. They show up at the work of people whose kid have been murdered. The actual cops that killed them and show up at their cash register at work. Not just once, not just twice, for years. Years. They're psychopaths. They're psychopaths. You don't know how bad it is. You don't know how bad it is. You don't know. The cops are the danger. These mercenaries, they are the danger. They divide us. These gangs divide us. These pigs can kill you. Qualified immunity allows them to kill your children in their schools, allows them to beat your children and leave and go home. That's what it allows. Do you care about your children? I do. I will not stand by while the police murder our children. I was not born to sit by while the police murder our children. In the city of Portland, in my goddamn hometown, where my parents grew up, where my parents met. You will not continue to kill our children, Ted Wheeler. You will not continue to kill our children.
You will not continue to kill our brothers. You will not continue to kill our sisters. You will not continue to employ a police force of racist Nazis and liars. You will not continue to pay $2 million to these pigs, to these fucking pigs that are here to keep our free speech. That's what this motherfucker's here for. I'm sure he's a grandpa. He's probably a nice fucking guy, but he's here to shut down your free speech. So whether he's a nice guy or not is not my fucking problem. Same with this guy. You're probably a sweet dude. I bet you're a good son. But you know what? You're a fucking piece of shit because this is voluntary. You don't need to be here. All right, friends. Um, I think that I'm going to go ahead and turn off. Pretty quick here. Give these little pricks a break. Um, one, because I'm done. And two, because I'd kind of like to give my phone to somebody before I go to jail, which I most certainly will do soon. So, um, hey, there's another pig. Pigs everywhere. Hey, Joe, um, can I give you my phone and I'll get it back from you later, please, sir? I assume so. Uh, what do you want me to do with that? Here, I'll take that stuff. Lightning. If I gave you stuff, could you get it back to me later? No. no? I'm not able to do that. Yeah. I'm going to get arrested. I sure. I'm sure. I hope. I don't know. It'd be better with Joe. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Joe. It's right there. I see it. Thanks, buddy. It's no problem. All right. Hard to get people to hold your shit when you're going to go to jail. All right. Nobody wants to hold my shit. This little motherfucker following me like he's going to do something. This little motherfucker did. He's gonna do something. What is that? Oh, sweet! Thank you. Some kind of exclusion notice. What is this? Exclusion notice? Trespass. Excellent. 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 Well, that's what we're. Looking for. Hey, um, how long are you guys gonna keep the space for the pedophile? Have you heard about the strategy for that? I'm pretty interested. All right, where are we going? Uh, do, do, do. You want me to go out that door? Yeah. Oh, okay, I'll be happy. I hope you guys don't get your $2 million, or if you do, you choke on it. How's that? Oh, I will have a great day. It was pretty fun to entertain your little crowd there. You found out what a real city hall is all about. Fucking goons and Nazis and liars. Great stuff, man. Hey, you guys. Once again, whenever I expect to go to jail, I don't go to jail. How does it work like that? I'm glad it does. I'd like to go home and see my dog again. It's been a long morning. I really didn't want to get up this morning and do this, I can assure you. Civil disobedience is not fun. It is not fun. It is not for us. It is awful that we have to do this. It is awful that police are murdering our children. It is awful that this is the fate of our country. I was born in 1968. I'm about to turn 51. We'll get personal here since we're walking and currently I'm not being beaten up by police, which is great. Uh, the handcuffs don't fit my wrists. I have really large wrists and it really sucks. Handcuffs are definitely made for torture. Um, so, let's sit in the park. Maybe they'll come find me. They know where I live anyway. <laughs> I have my cell phone coordinates at all times anyway. Uh, so, um, what do we have here? Have a seat. So, uh, we got a trespass notice. That's good. That's the typical deal that you get when you uh, do the naughty at City Hall. Uh, activist Joe Walsh, interestingly enough, sued them a number of years ago because they tried to exclude him for a longer uh, period of time. And what they told him, hey, there's a piggy over there, I think. Um, there's piggies all around. Uh, what they told him is that, uh, or, or what the court decided is that they could only exclude him for 24 hours. So I get a trespass and it says, da, 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 remainder of the council session in the day. Yeah, so that's the legal limit that they can do is, is uh, exclude me. But it was also pretty funny. They locked Ted Wheeler's office doors when I entered the building and protected the whole of the pedophile. My God, could these guys make themselves look like bigger asses than they are? I really don't think they could. Um, all right, you guys, I think I'm going to get offline and go take a walk and uh, relax. That was very exciting. I didn't expect to do that. But, you know, civil disobedience tends to be spontaneous, doesn't it? Um, and this certainly was. And uh, peace, you guys. Uh, I'd like to see nobody die. That includes police. Uh, and if police keep killing our loved ones, I'm afraid that, that 
citizens will take the matters into their own hands. And I don't want to see anybody die. I want to see people live. I am a peace guy. I have a peace tattoo. I write about peace. I write about solutions to the policing problem because they are a gang. They have qualified immunity to murder you. That's not okay. We will never be okay until we solve these problems. So anyway, peace, you guys. I uh, hope that was an entertaining civil disobedience. Uh, we'll talk to you later.